how high the stakes are here right now for what everything that's going on. It's huge. Like I said, when Google changes something, they can divert so much traffic to or from a page that it can actually cause a business to surge or go out of business. So companies that have invested in mobile, they'll do very well here because they have the sites that are already ready to go. But if you're a company that hasn't really put a lot into your mobile strategy, possibly like Australia, one strategist there says 66% of all the websites in Australia are not mobile friendly. So certain places are going to suffer more than others. Interestingly, you have places like Africa and Latin America that were late to the internet game, so their sites are already mobile optimized because those societies are more mobile. It's easier to get internet on your uh, devices there than it ever was on desktop. So those places will do very well. But the stakes are very high for a lot of these companies. Okay, so far we've kind of skirted around the controversy here. Let's dive right in. Okay. Samuel, you know, the point is a lot of people accuse Google of really playing God with all this. Why do they get to decide, you know, what comes up on my search? Well, at the end of the day, they want what's best for the user, for us, because like I said, I don't like to have to put my eye up to the phone to try and see the text. I want to see something that looks very...